Hello gorgeous Capricorn, how are you sweethearts? You know how somebody forgot your reading last week. Well today they almost didn't turn the record on. Could you believe it? Share your thoughts. I feel like you're just being very transparent. You know, you're just showing all sides of yourself. You're sharing your thoughts is what you do. You know, you're not going to hold back. You're not going to, you know, there's nothing nothing to shy away from here. It's like you you have a, a beautiful vision. You're standing in your strength. You know, you see, you can trust your intuition and all that you see and know. This is such a strong, powerful guide, you know, very balanced. And I think that what you're sharing, Capricorn, is going to be very uplifting for others, very helpful for others, healing as well as your own. Look at this emotion here. Follow the moon. It's all about you following your emotion, following your passion. Guys, I'm having issues speaking to today did I say follow did I say I can't uh, anyway sweethearts I feel like that you're seeing how do you feel this week it's all about how you feel really that's what it comes down to and you're sharing your thoughts in a very peaceful and and grounded and supportive and self-nurturing way mm -hmm. no holding back here it's beautiful Let's draw you a card from the Crystal Visions deck. We'll have your love reading coming up soon, Capricorn. This is gratitude needed. So, you know, this is really going to help with changing the focus, right? And also moving out of any difficult emotions, right? Um, yeah. Needing to let go of self-doubt, really, Capricorn? Because you're amazing. And why hold back? gratitude for self as well gratitude for how far you have come on this journey be strong within yourself suddenly you are really seeing a picture correctly Capricorn <laughs> suddenly I feel a little bit stubborn in my energy like <laughs> maybe that's why the gratitude's needed like gratitude for all experiences in life but gratitude to self and gratitude for all that you have done all parts of the picture Let's draw an angel of tarot. Wow, an angel of tarot instead of an angel tarot. <laughs> this is Mercury Retrograde doing a number on me right now. Wow, nice one. <laughs> hey, Mercury, what's up? <laughs> Mercury in the house, Capricorn. <laughs> Two of action. <laughs> Am I screaming now? <laughs> Capricorn. Oh, goodness. Trust in your ability. <laughs> trust in your ability, sweethearts, to make excellent choices. Yeah, you can trust your vision. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner. What? <laughs> Who can help you? Capricorn, we are back. The, um, the phone just cut out. And did you see how shocked I got when I drew that, started reading that card? Maybe there was a break or something, like you, there was a break in this. This could be a project that you're working on or a relationship, but it says there's um, trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So there you go. I feel like you're making choices that are, um, you know, supportive of your, you know, vision for your life and, and the things that are important to you, what you want to build, you know, people that have like-minded sort of visions. So yeah, there you go. Um, so I don't know why that felt <laughs> so shocking when I read that. I, I guess, um, <laughs> You know, maybe it comes as a surprise or maybe you've been, you know, buying the same toothpaste all these years and suddenly you're like, oh, actually this, this toothpaste is going to be better for me. So anyway, let's draw a goddess card here for you. It says Bridget. I almost thought that said bright then, like bright toothpaste. It says don't back down. That's amazing. Yeah. Very much standing in the strength here. Stand up for what you believe is right. Stand up for what you believe is right. Share your thoughts. Share your feelings. Gratitude needed. Don't back down. Capricorn, what you're working on, it's um, 
I feel like this is, yeah, gratitude to self and gratitude to the universe. Gratitude to others. But it's allow, it's about, you know, aligning this, this beautiful vision here. Yeah. And I think that this is what creates the now, right? It's just you standing in your strength and power of who you are. That's when you know you're on the right path, right? Because you're you. Let's draw you an angel tarot card. And we'll have your love reading coming up soon just because um, I feel like it's very interesting and I want to know more. Um, I already drew this card. So I drew you another one. Okay, interesting. All right, celebration. This is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. Someone else got this Aquarius did. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. So more messages here about making long-term plans, you know, of, of your joy. Have faith that things are going to work out beautifully, Capricorn. Bless you. Sending you all the love and light. I look forward to your next highest timeline reading. Oh, hearing a tone. Bless, bless, bless. Oh. Angels are with you. You are seeing a situation correctly. I'm literally seeing like eyes. Trust your, uh, yeah, it's like this, seeing these two eyes. It's beautiful. You are guided. You are lucky. And you are love. Bless, bless, bless. Ciao for now, Capricorn. Capricorn, we're back. I just felt like it wasn't complete and I couldn't shake the feeling, so I wanted to draw you guys a tarot just really quickly um, because there was the break in that recording and maybe that's what you're doing, you know, listening to your feelings and sort of going forward here. Empress, reverse. Four of Pentacles. I, okay, I'm getting a bit of sense of uh, selfishness here. Seven of Wands. Interesting. So what I'm getting from this Capricorn is it feels like, um, you know, there was a situation where there was um, maybe some selfishness or you've held strong to, to what you believe in, to what you know is important. Um, but I do feel like there's been a sense of greed or there was like an imbalance. They're just, it was like someone was giving and someone was not giving you know what i mean like arms crossed like these are mine you know my pentacles like it just it was that sort of that sort of energy and here with the seven of wards uh, <laughs> mercury mercury retro unbelievable with the seven of wands this is victory it's like you having self-compassion you having the strength standing up for yourself right it's you showing the courage and maybe this is about this new situation uh, or this this energy where it's about um making new alliances new choices and something that's you know it's yeah standing up for yourself here so that's just a extra confirmation my darlings i hope that this helped i look forward to your love reading check out the crystal store and i'll see you darling soon ciao for now